Hi, my name is Brian Wall with Wake County Environmental Services. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If the water at your house comes from a private well, it's your responsibility to test it to see if what's coming out of your tap is safe for you and your family to drink. Not all contaminants are detectable by taste, smell, or appearance. The only way to ensure your drinking water is safe is through testing. The North Carolina Division of Public Health recommends testing for bacteria every year and screening for inorganic contaminants every two years. In this video, we'll demonstrate a reliable way to collect a water sample from your well so that you can test it for uranium, radon, and gross alpha and beta particles. In this example, we will use a sample collection kit provided by Pace Analytical, one of the labs that's certified by the state of North Carolina to test for these contaminants. Depending on the lab you use, your kit may vary in size or scope. For instance, you may have more bottles or they may be different sizes. The important thing is to follow the instructions provided by your lab. And remember, the accuracy of testing is only as good as the quality of samples sent in. Let's walk through the process of using this kit. This kit comes with four containers. These two smaller containers are for measuring radon. The two larger bottles are for measuring uranium and gross alpha and beta. Let's start with the radon test. For this test, our goal is to gather samples with absolutely no air bubbles in them. Let's begin at the kitchen sink. If your faucet has an aerator, remove it. If you are unable to, you can collect the sample from a different tap in your house, from an outdoor spigot, or from the wellhead. If your home has a water treatment system, we recommend that you sample post-treatment so that the water's already run through the system. That way, the testing can give an accurate representation of the water you use to drink, bathe, and cook with on a daily basis. Before collecting the samples, turn on your faucet to cold and allow the water to run five to 10 minutes. This will flush your plumbing of stagnant water, which may not reflect the quality of water coming directly from your well. Before collection, reduce the water flow to a slow but steady trickle. The goal is to minimize water disturbance and air bubbles. Tilt the radon vial at an angle to prevent splashing. Collect the water in the vial until it overflows. The water should bulge above the top of the vial, forming what's called a positive meniscus. Next, fill the cap about one third of the way and quickly and firmly secure the cap to the sample container. Now it's time to check for air bubbles. Turn the container upside down and gently tap it against your palm. If you see any air bubbles, remove the cap, top it off, and try again. If there are any air bubbles in your sample, no matter how tiny, the lab will not be able to test your water. It can get a little messy, so be sure to do this step over the sink. And don't worry, you can repeat this process as many times as you need until there are no bubbles in the sample container. Once you're sure you have a good sample, record the date and time on the label provided. Next, place the containers in the plastic bubble wrap and seal tightly. These samples must be shipped to the lab the same day you collect them. Because they're time sensitive, don't collect or ship your samples back to the lab on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or the day before national holiday. Now let's move on to the uranium, gross alpha, and beta test. The bottles provided by Pace Analytical for this test come sealed with a warning label because the bottle already contains some nitric acid, which serves as a preservative. Be very careful not to spill this highly corrosive liquid. Not all labs use nitric acid as a preservative. Remember to read all safety instructions that come with your kit. Prepare your faucet in the same way you did for the previous test by allowing cold water to run for five to 10 minutes after removing any aerators. If you just did this for the radon test, there's no need to repeat this step. You're already good to go. Next. Carefully remove the lid and place the bottle under the faucet. Don't let the water come out too fast. You're looking for a gentle stream of water. Fill the bottle up past the shoulder to the base of the neck of the bottle, being very careful not to allow the bottle to overflow. This ensures the nitric acid does not spill out of the sample. Replace the cap and seal it tightly. Then fill out the labels provided with the date and time and follow the directions on how to return the sample for testing. The important thing is to always follow directions specific to your sampling kit. Well, that's it. Thank you for following along as we collected samples for radionuclide testing. If you have any questions about the process, where to obtain a sampling kit, or how to know if your water needs testing, please visit us online at wakegov.com wells or call us at 919-893-WELL.